seven IITs and then called Tata Institute, which is now ISC Bangalore, conducts this prestigious gate exam from last 40 years. What is the history of this gate exam? How the pattern of the gate exam has evolved in last 40 years? Why after 2016, the number of students have suddenly decreased, which was increasing earlier? What is the real competition now? That I, Abhinav Negi, will be telling you for the next few minutes. Okay, so before I begin with, let me introduce the history of the GATE exam. In 1984, ISC, which was earlier also called as Tata Institute, conducts the test for the post-graduation program in ISC Bangalore and IIT Delhi. So in 1984, the first exam was conducted, the first GATE exam was conducted, which was by ISC Bangalore. Earlier, from 1984 to 1991, only subjective types of questions were asked in the GATE exam and due to various ambiguity in the step marking and other things, from 1991, MCQs were also introduced in the pattern. After 12 more years, it was found that MCQs will be more better approach for checking the intelligence of a candidate although subjective questions are very good but on the marking way MCQs will be less ambiguous and less ambiguity will be there okay subjective can have a different marking scheme by different invalidators so in 19 in 2003 2003 only MCQs were in the gate paper from 2014, NAT questions were introduced and exam become the CBT, the online test. Okay, so NAT and the online test has begun from 2014 for all branches. 2021, then IT Bombay was connecting the exam, has come up with a new thing that was MSQ. So MSQs were also come to check the performance of the students. Here again, MSQ will be a definite answer. Invalidator cannot do anything here. They have computer-based things will be there. And it will check the depth of a student. So MSQs were also introduced. So this is a brief history of this GATE exam. Let me tell you, this GATE exam occurs every year in the month of February. And in the extreme of the situations, where most of the exams got postponed or preponed, the GATE exam was still there in the month of February. I am not right now commenting it is good or bad, but let me tell you about it occurs annually and about the integrity of this exam. Now, earlier, before 2012, only one PSU IOCL was there, which is recruiting from the GATE exam from 2012-2013. IOCL and TPC are also introduced. So for, for next 2-3 years, there were only 2 PSUs which are conducting or recruiting their management trainee from the GATE exam. But year by year, after the integrity of this exam, lots of PSU right now, more than 20 PSUs are associated with GATE. The foreign universities are recruiting their candidates for MS program through GATE exam. Niti Bombay, Bark, various other institutes are there which have the belief in the GATE exam, the transparency here, the level of exam. So many such opportunities are coming for engineers now after the GATE exam. Now if we go about the competition, the number of students appearing in the GATE exam, up to 2016 in every branch, the students are increasing, students are increasing. Students are increasing up to 2016. Students are increasing up to 2016 in every branch. After 2016, you can see the number has been reduced. It has number has been reduced. Okay. For civil, it is almost same. Till now, it is not much varied. Earlier, the students in electronics and computer science are more and students in mechanical, electrical and civil are less. 
but year by year students are first of all increasing in every branch but as you can see these are called as evergreen branches you must have heard so the drop of the number of candidates in electronics and computer science is much more than these three branches like in civil it was come up with one lakh students giving the gate exam it is still almost one lakh okay so in mechanical also it is decreased more than civil but yes relatively better than electronics and computer science now these 2023 registration numbers are there and as per the director of iit kharagpur 75 percent attendance was there so this was the registered students and this is the appeared students this is roughly i have calculated just approximately 75 percent all these things are the number of appeared students all these are number of appeared students okay this is a rough data that why i put this sign approximately sign also taking 75 percent attendance which was told by iit kharagpur director now even if the number of candidates now in recent years are more in the range of 70,000 to 90,000 but still the competition is among the top 10,000 students and the level of those top 10,000 students is not changing much in last three to four years. Now, what is the benefit of a student for, uh, by the gate exam apart from he can go MTech, Niti Bombay, BARC, MS is that many of the students who are in IITs and prestigious colleges of the country are still fighting for the same exam and for same seats, especially in mechanical and civil. So it is the golden opportunity for other students. They can compete with them and what a IIT student is dreaming of right now, particularly in civil and mechanical, same they can also dream. And if they get a good rank, the beauty of the gate exam is your profile is not mattering. From which college you are, you got less marks in 10th class and 12th marks is not at all matter here. Every student, if he's from government college, private college, any other thing is equally equivalent provided his college is approved by AICT. So number of students are less. But still the top 10,000 because the actual fight is students are fighting for 1500 seats including MTech <laughs> program in IITs, IICs plus PSU. So roughly I am saying 1500 seats MTech plus PSU, MTech of IITs and IICs. So only 10,000 students are fighting. The top 10,000 students are there which, or, which actually completes more than 80% syllabus which actually prepares for more than 80% of syllabus and for more than 7 to 8 months. So this 10,000 is not varying. Even tomorrow might be all these numbers are doubled or halved. Still this 10,000 is still not changing drastically. This 10,000 level, these top 10,000 students, their mind, their conceptual clarity is all, almost the same. So even if it is very high initially, little bit less now, still the level of competition is increased because every year the level of students, their conceptual clarity is getting better and better. So with decrease in the magnitude of the number of seats, competition is not decreasing because that decrease in number is not of the top points of the top points of the country. Okay. So the re one, re one reason being why competition is decreased because of course the less number of students are, are now interested in BTEC in earlier times the private colleges are full but right now the seats are vacant even some of the government colleges also number of seats in PSUs are decreased but this is a very sinusoidal function in 2015-16 very high number of seats in PSU then in 2019-21 to 21, less number of PSUs but still now in 2020-23 it is again in increasing order so this will be a sinusoidal curve okay but actual completion I already told is same and if you see a student of 2005, 2007 or if, even if my era 2012, less students are interested in post-graduation. Everybody wants job that time. Still, many students still want job. They don't want to go for a PG, but still number of students who are approaching for post-graduation have been increased. Because now there are lots of BTEC guys, graduate guys. So for a, after a particular level in private, 
for the promotion post graduation will help of course in government neither your college name neither your uh, P, uh, either you are a phd or mtech or btech that will not matter you it will matter that which exam you have cleared in which year which batch you are but for private the post graduation will help for promotion and other perks so number of students who are going for post graduation are much more if we compare it from last 15 to 20 years guys please share this video you can join me also in my telegram group civil by abhinav sir please do let me know your doubts in the comment box regarding gate i will be replying every doubt in next two to three hours unless you are replying at 4 a.m in the morning as per ist okay so please like and share the session and subscribe the channel for more such videos and wait tomorrow i am coming at 11 15 pm night after the ipl match for the how isc is expected to take the exam difficulty level and everything isc has already previously taken in 2002 2008 and 2016 what was the weightage here for every branch for every subject difficulty level what is expected in 2024 i'll be telling you tomorrow at 11 15 pm i hope you enjoyed this video like and share and do let me know your comments on the comment section eagerly waiting for them Thank you. Take care.